Namaste. 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 And thank you, Kavita, for that kind introduction. And thanks to all of you for being here this evening. It's wonderful to see so many friends here tonight. And among those friends are extraordinary caucus members. How about a big round of applause for them? A number of them are of Indian descent, but many others represent cities, towns, and neighborhoods, like my own riding of Papineau. Who's here from Papineau? Great to see. There you go, my gang. That have strong and vibrant Indian communities. We have so many of those MPs here tonight that I can't name them all, but I tell you, that's a problem that I'm delighted to have. I do want to acknowledge four of our ministers who are here this evening, though. Le ministre canadien de l'innovation des sciences et du développement économique, Navdeep Bains. Notre ministre de la Défense nationale, Harjit Sajjan. Et originaire d'Edmonton, notre ministre de l'infrastructure et des collectivités, Amarjit Sohi. And someone well known to the entrepreneurs in this room, our Minister of Small Business and Tourism and Government House Leader, Bardesh Chagar. There we are. Why is it always the women who dress up so beautifully and I'm the only guy with a reef uh, who dresses up appropriately? Thank you so much. <laughs> On this very special evening, I want to welcome India's High Commissioner to Canada, His Excellency Vikas Swarup. Thank you very much for being here, High Commissioner. Diwali is a celebration that is centuries old, yet still manages to speak so clearly to modern times. The triumph of light over darkness, of good over evil, the power of knowledge to help dispel ignorance and despair. These are things that the world needs now, perhaps more than ever before. Donc c'est un honneur pour moi de participer à cette célébration, une célébration qui réunit des gens d'une foule de communautés qui cherchent tous à bâtir un monde plus pacifique et plus prospère. C'est une célébration qui revêt un sens particulier cette année, en ce 150e année de la Confédération et en ce 35e anniversaire de la Charte canadienne des droits et libertés. This is not only Canada's 150th birthday and the uh, 35th anniversary of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, but it's also the 10th anniversary of the Bats Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, which I had the pleasure of visiting this past July. I know so many members from the GTA come here. So for so many people leaving our largest airport, that magnificent building is one of the very first sights they see. And I think that speaks volumes about Canada and about its strong and vibrant Hindu community. And now, thanks to the joint efforts of Canada Post and India Post and the two new stamps that celebrate Diwali, people around the world will be able to see how important the Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist and Jain communities are here in Canada. That's something I believe in deeply. It's why just one week after being sworn in as Prime Minister, I made a, a point of spending time at both a Mandar and a Gurdwara here in Ottawa for Diwali. There are more than one million Canadians of Indian origin living in Canada, and their contributions to our country are countless. Whether it's starting a new business or creating jobs, helping to teach our children or caring for us when we are sick, the contributions that you make build stronger communities and make Canada an even better place to call home. That's a point I've made with Prime Minister Modi on the very many occasions we've had to speak and spend time together, and it's a point worth repeating. Diversity is Canada's greatest strength. Merci encore une fois de m'avoir permis de me joindre à vous ce soir. Thank you all so much. Diwali Mubarak, Shub Diwali! Yeah.